Good evening, everyone. It's just Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Thought I would do a Netflix review here. I did do a preview of the earnings uh, yesterday around lunchtime, and boy, Netflix did it. Really astounding. Went on and on and on about this in a training room this morning. Actually, I did record the room today, but I, <laughs> I, just, I went on about this before I was, did the recording. Uh, this was such an amazing move here. I, and I called it to hold in the middle of the sky and make new highs. That's exactly what it did. I also thought it would blow over 400. Market was very bearish today. And Netflix held in the sky. That is extremely bullish. This is new buying that created the gap. And that's why the gap held in the sky. And that's why you can't short a gap like this. I'm sure a lot of traders thought this was just a short. A short because it gapped up here to this prior area of resistance. And it was a huge gap. I'm sure people thought of shorting it. It was not a short. It isn't a short. It's a good, good professional bullish gap. And if I rated it based on my own rating system to the upside, which you can flip the points, it would rate over 20. It's a great gap. This is, this is, I actually think that this low of this gap here is actually might hold for a long time. Like I think this really might be the real deal here because it's really meaningful. It's meaningful for so many reasons. One, it retraced this bar here. Two, it's up at new highs. Three, it was against the market today. Four, this is confirming that the stock is higher this year and the next target's $500. And I wouldn't put it past, I wouldn't put it past Netflix. I mean, really, even $500 is even not that far. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know where this goes by the end of the year. Uh, this thing can move more than $100 in the next 12 months. So $500 is the first target. We'll see from there how it acts. However, tomorrow, I do think this falls through the upside. 415, 420, 425. Those are the targets for tomorrow. So this is either going to gap up tomorrow and run like the Dickens or open neutral and rally. This is a buy tomorrow. Netflix actually is an overnight hold here. You could have been in this overnight today as a hold to get, go through tomorrow. Really nice trade. And you could have actually bought it in here in the morning aggressively and then been right out and bought it again. Stock came down here in the first five minutes of the day and held immediately. Held immediately, set the low of the day in the first five minutes of the day. Set up, confirm the setup, set up again, did an ad, did another ad, held. This is a beautiful move. Be ran, ran up, made new highs, ran up into 395. All this is happening with the markets falling through the floor. This is a great bullish gap. This should never have been shorted. I told everyone in the room today, don't short it, don't short it, don't short it, don't short it. I'm sure someone did and didn't want to tell me, but <clears throat> it wasn't a short. You don't want to trade against institutional power. If you shorted this today, you were trading against institutional power. Why? Because institutions bought this gap. They made the gap. There's nothing, nothing, nothing in the world that can make a stock close at $333.73 and open at $387.40. But huge power money. Huge. Okay? Everyone that was long the stock or in here, a lot of people, not a lot, but a lot of people did take profits here in this bar. So you're not going to get profit taking here. This is brand, brand new. This is real. This is real, people. It's new buying. And by the way, not everybody got out in this. A lot of shorts happen in here because people shorted it, which was nuts. I know it ran in the day, but it doesn't matter. You don't short a stock that runs up to all-time highs. It has a bullish, was the gap of the year this was last year. But shorts came in here this day, and people took profits, but they didn't take all their profits. And some people still had along, and some people bought more in here, and some people believe in the stock, and they believe in the company, and they bought it, and they, they decided to buy it. So when the powers that be decided to buy it, they took it. How I can see these things is true, true, true skill. It's a gift. I mean, I predicted this would happen before it did it, and it did it. And even I, when I was in the class and looked at this happening in real life time at 4 o'clock yesterday in the trends class, was a speechless. I was speechless. I was speechless speechless when I was watching it happen because I was, I hit it. I hit it on the head. I was so right. Like so many calls I've made, like the original call I made back here when this did this, I called this before it was going to do it. I called this before it was going to do it and I was right. And I called this here before it did it. And this is just as good as this, if not better. This was a corrective gap here that made the stock in an uptrend. And this is a brand new gap that is so, such a huge call because of the fact that we trace this bar. I mean, this is a monster. 
you can learn how to trade right if you learn how to reprice. You absolutely can. And how are you going to do that? Learning gaps. Reading gaps teaches you how to reprice, and that's how I've gotten to be good at reading price. That's how I've gotten to have such advanced technical analysis skills. I, I do think, though, that being able to see something like this before it even happens is amazing. And I, I feel so grateful that I know how to read gaps this way. I mean, I feel so grateful that I know how to reprice this way. And, you know, I'm teaching people how to do it. It's just whether or not you're, you're, you can grasp the concept. This is, this is certainly something that can be taught. You've got to be willing to open up your mind and see it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Stephanie told me that I have to start thinking big about things because I mean, I'm just seeing things before they happen really well. So Netflix is going to go tomorrow. It's going to go. It's going to go over 400. <laughs> so we'll look at this then tomorrow, and I'll do a video on it after the trading tomorrow. But there's my call for today, the review of today uh, on the gap. It did it. Gapped up, held, held in the sky. Never broke the low. Came in here at major reversal time and set up in a 15 minute at 12 o'clock. And if you bought this, you made money up in here. So this is Melissa with the stockswitch.com. It is late. Gosh, it's late, people. I got to get to bed here soon or stay up all night, eat chocolate cake, and go to the gym at 2 a.m. Either one, I'm not sure yet. But I'll be ready to go and trade tomorrow morning, bright and early at 8 a.m., last day of the open house. If you're interested in learning how to trade gaps, learning how to reprice, learning my system, the next golden gap class is February 8th and 9th. And boy, I'm making some monster bullish calls for a girl that likes to short. So, you know, it just goes to show you the gap system works no matter how you look at it. You have to know how to reprice, okay? Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Have a great night, everybody. Stay warm.